Each of them get into their lives and try to practice Swami's teachings that they've learned in SSC class. They all remember to put them in practice whenever they can. Let us first see how Yasmin apply what she learned in her SSC school. Love is God's property. It can't be purchased from anywhere. It originates only in the heart. In this scene, it is morning at elementary school. The teacher, Mr. Kayser, and the students are about to start their first session on respect. Good morning, children. Is everybody excited that Christmas is, is just two days away? Is everyone preparing for the holidays? I spent my entire evening with my parents at the mall shopping for decorations for our Christmas tree. Wow, that's wonderful. And what about you, John? <laughs> my family and I were busy wrapping up presents for my cousins. What would you like to share with us, Nita? My family and I joined our Sci Center members last evening and went downtown to offer blankets and a hot meal to the homeless people. That's a very nice gesture, Nita, especially now during the winter. Mohammed, it's your turn. My father reads us stories as we all sat around the fireplace. How nice is that, Mohammed? And you, Kathy? Please tell us. We went to church and practiced singing carols. Wow, that's good. I wonder what happened to Yasmin. She did not come to school today. Mr. Kayser, it is Yasmin. Why do you look so sad, Yasmin? Are you okay? Hello, Mr. Kayser. I am sorry for being late for class today. It is because my brother Ismail had beaten up, was beaten up by two boys, Jack and Tom. They were yelling at him and calling him all kinds of names and said they did not like him because he followed a different religion. That's so sad, Yasmin. Was he hurt badly? Yes, Mr. Kaysen. My brother Ismail had lots of bruises and was bleeding. Well, children, does anyone remember our discussion on unity of faith? Yes, Mr. Kayser, you tell us that all religions are the same, and they teach us to love one another. That is correct, Kathy. We must respect ones who practice a different religion. Always remember, God is one, but forms are many. Children, Sing with me. Call him Allah or Buddha, Jesus or Asha. Say Ram, Rahim, Mahavir, Sainata. His own names and all for choose anyone. Allah or Buddha, Jesus or Asha. Why do you think those two boys, Jack and Tom, hurt his mail? The two boys hurt Ismail because Ismail followed a different religion than them. But they did the wrong thing because you told us we should always help ever, hurt ever, and not hurt anyone just because they follow a different religion. Yes, Nita. You also said that God lives in the heart of every person. So if we hurt another person, we are also hurting the God in that person. Mr. Kayser, John wants to say something. <laughs> Mr. Kayser, you're a very good teacher. I was Jack and Tom in your class to learn about unity of faiths. My brother is 
man lost a lot, lot of blood, and the doctor gave him blood received by a loving person. What is donated blood? Some people donate their blood to the blood bank. Doctors usually don't patients who need blood to save their lives. It's called liquid love. So <laughs> blood received by Israel could have been from a person of any faith. So Mr. Kaiser, if Jack and Tom needed blood someday, they could give blood donated by a person of any religion. My father told me he donates bread two times a year. One day when I'm older, I would like to donate blood. Yes, man, we hope your brother Ismail will get better soon. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Mr. Kaiser. You are the best. Thank you, Yasmin. Let us all repeat what we have learned last week about unity of faith. There is only one religion, the religion of love. There is only one language, the language of the heart. There is only one caste, the caste of humanity. There is only one God, he is omnipotent.